from News 3, the Old Dominion Bull Court Press. Well, the offseason work nearly complete and less than seven weeks remain until college basketball season tips off. Thanks for joining us tonight on the Old Dominion Full Court Press. Two recently united family members suit up in the silver and blue. And how many points does Jason Wade think Jeff Jones would score on him in a game of one on one? That's all coming up. Well, we're now less than a week away from the start of official practice. The players going through their conditioning test earlier this week and Tuesday will see them get into their season routine. Once that begins, a six-week grind until the November 7th season opener. The Monarchs coming off a 13-19 season and hoping that some key returners and strong newcomers can usher in their first season back in the Sun Belt on a good note. Now each week, a NASCAR pit crews keep their cars in prime shape to race as fast as possible. Jason Mitchell is the pit crew equivalent of Monarch basketball. From skill set to tools, he has everything he needs to keep the players running smoothly. Behind every college basketball player is a Jason Mitchell. And with the Monarchs gearing up to start official practice, his days are about to get a lot busier. During basketball season, we're basically on call like 24-7. So, I mean, if anything pops up, we need to make sure we have a plan in place to kind of make sure the, the guys have what they need. But it's nothing new for Old Dominion's head basketball athletic trainer. He's tipping off his 17th year in the profession. For me, it's this amount of getting our, their bodies right, getting them kind of geared into season mode um, because, I mean, our games are just right around the corner. Take a look around the training room and you'll see everything needed to not only nurse players back to health, but hopefully to keep them from suffering injuries to begin with. We have 15 guys with 15 different personalities, lifestyles, and kind of like, you know, and, and with issues or any, any particular nuances. And you got to kind of tailor make you know, like what specifically for them. Mitchell's job goes far beyond the rolls of tape and the trays of bandages. He values a chance to be a positive force in the lives of his players. You could potentially see them at their lowest point if, if they've never had an injury before or, or you can get them back but you see them buy in and you can see that they're getting better or improving and then to see them out play and then that come they come back um, it, it's really gratifying. A crucial piece of the team's success staying at the top of his game to make sure the Monarchs can stay at the top of theirs. I tell our administration and everybody case if our athletic training staff uh, doesn't have anything to do on a given day we're having a pretty good day. And so we always strive to kind of see if we can keep them out of our office, but if they have to be in there, we try to get them back as safely and quickly as we can. Now the Monarchs have many other remedies at their fingertips. Mitchell and his team use cryotherapy, compression and vibration treatments, and sleep therapies to help keep the players in top form. We'll get a look at some of those procedures later on in the season. Time for a 94-foot conversation with the Monarchs. We are going 94 feet with Jason Wade. Jason, let's start with this one. You're playing Jeff Jones one-on-one. -on -one. Who's winning? Uh, me, of course. All right, you're playing to 11. How many points does he get? One. He, it's he's one in point? A, a lucky shot. Is it a pity point or a lucky shot? It's a lucky shot. Okay, all right, so he just chucks it up and it goes in. Yes, sir. All right, um, who's the funniest guy on the team? Uh, probably Ben. Ben Stanley. Oh, uh, really? What yeah. makes Ben funny? He just always has something to say no matter what the topic is. It's something to say. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so you guys are so involved in sports. But what's your favorite non-sports movie? If you're sitting down to watch a movie, what are you going to put Ooh. on that's non-sports? Probably Transformers. Yeah, good yeah. choice. Okay. Yeah, I love Transformers. All right. So are you an action guy or a romantic guy? Or what's the, uh, what's the genre of Definitely choice? more of an action. Okay. What is in Jason Wade's playlist on your phone? Travis Scott. Yeah? Yes, sir. That's your hype hi music for games? Hype music for games, mosh pitting and everything. Well, good stuff there from Jason Wade. Well, meanwhile, imagine not knowing about your cousin until you get to college and he's on your basketball team. That's coming up right after this. Well, thanks so much for staying with us, everybody. Teammates often refer to themselves as family, but little did two monarchs know they actually are related, and that fact uncovered when a newcomer this season arriving in Norfolk. News 3's Zach Staten has the story of how two ODU players learning of an additional branch on their family tree. Two years into his time at Wichita State, Mintzville product Chauncey Jenkins felt a change of scenery was necessary. It was, it was a culture shock when I first got there, you know, just being 18 years old out there on my own. 
I learned a lot and, um, you know, just everything is different. What better place than to come back home? A week into the portal, uh, Coach Richardson hit me up, then a day after that, Coach Jones hit me up, and it was just music to my ears from then. He was back around friends and family, including one member he never saw coming. This made this so much more fun and easy for me. Virginia Beach's PJ Gill has been back with the Monarchs for a year. He'd met Chauncey before, but one phone call changed everything. My grandfather, he asked about Chauncey, and I said, yeah, he's from the area. But he had some news for me, which was that him and Chauncey's grandfather are actually cousins. He was like, you got a granddad that lives in Las Vegas. I was like, yeah, how you know that? He said, I guess we cousins. Suddenly, the 757 products not only finding out their new teammates, but that they're family. We followed each other on social media before getting here, so I definitely knew who he was. I didn't really know him personally, but as soon as we got here, it was instant connection. Something they may never have learned about if Chauncey had stayed at Wichita State. My grandfather wouldn't have had a reason to, to look up the roster, to do his own research. Things happen for a reason. There's already been some good family competition. He, he's never scored on me in practice. Yeah. Never scored on me? Never scored on me in Is practice. Is he never going to score? He will never score on me in practice. I believe that's 100% false, so I, I believe that's 100% <laughs> false. Something Chauncey and PJ are embracing, because one transfer decision help bring these two cousins together. Went with the flow of things. You know, we found out we're cousins now. We're, hey, we can call some, call each other on a regular basis. Um, we can get in the gym more, and it'll be more comfortable. It just helps so much throughout this process. You know, you just have having somebody who I know is family here. Zach Staten, News 3 Sports. I think we got to get the Clash of the Cousins one-on-one -on -one game going here before the season starts. Thanks so much there, Zach. Both Chauncey and PJ say they can never remember being on the same team before, even during open gyms growing up. Now they have at least one year of calling themselves teammates. So we're exactly three weeks away from the annual Old Dominion basketball tip-off dinner. This video of last year's event, which provides supporters of the program an inside look at the team heading into the campaign. This year's dinner, Wednesday, October 12th at the Norfolk Yacht Club, and begins at 6 p.m. You'll get to meet the players and coaches, hear from the Monarchs themselves, and enjoy a night of talking Old Dominion basketball. We'll have a link where you can register if interested on the sports page of WTPR.com. That wraps up tonight's edition of the Old Dominion Full Court Press. For Zach Staten, I'm Mark Davis. Have a great night, everybody.